Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more War of the Worlds mod for Hearts of Iron 4 episode 6 with our series here. Go ahead and unpause. We set up orders last time, some pretty bold orders, and that was to go ahead and start pushing across the United States. Um, but we also wanted to start pushing harder in Canada, so that's what we're doing. Um, okay, we're getting a lot more people called in as enemies, which is unfortunate. Got a lot of <laughs> convoys just being wrecked everywhere. Can't wait till we can build our own navy, but that's still a good ways off. Working on it. Have we gotten any naval units? I don't think so. Guess we have allies. I'm okay with this. Oh, we actually did get a small navy, and by small I mean a ton of units. Lots of destroyers and frigates. That's actually pretty good, so we could maybe start cleaning up some of the water. There's 70 naval units there. Let's assign them a commander. And... Um, let's move them right out to engage these units out here. Let's see how well our navy holds up. I guess we're getting allies. Find out here in a second. Wait, how many do they got? 70 undamaged submarines. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. Go engage with France if we can. See France and a ton of other units. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. We're losing a lot of ships. Probably should have waited and upgraded them for better ships. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damages though too. That's pretty expensive on them. These are pretty much just free units that I got. There's interstellar aviation. I think we're going to win that, but it's going to cost us a lot. All right, we've got some more. Let's see what we're lacking here. We're lacking artillery. It's because I don't even have artillery here. So let's go ahead and dump some plasma artillery and we'll just dump some factories in it. It's not going to do us any good right now anyways, but when the time comes, we'll have it. Bomber fighter. Oh boy. We'll go for a bomber because in the long run, that's going to be the better technology. But let's actually get the expanded rocket sites. Rockets are really handy. Invasion's going very well. Let me grab these guys here. I don't think that the front line order for here went through, or the uh, offensive line order. There. Right. Go for it, gents. Make me proud. A lot of them aren't though, because they, see they have the supply, I don't understand why. Is it something I'm missing? They've got a lot of aluminum, I see. So that's good. I must be missing something. There must be a reason why these guys are so... Oh, 
Yeah, they need more anti-air and artillery, blah, 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 blah. But the supply, why is the supply so off? Every time they cross this river here, it just goes to garbage. Do I need a... I even have a port technically, but is it because convoys can't get to here? But it's just a river crossing, right? So it shouldn't matter. And even... well... Oh, even then it's connected by land, kind of. doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me I'm gonna be honest with you guys not sure why that keeps being a problem um how did we do did we lose our battle where was it right here oh, we won no we lost oh wait that's not the original one though Okay, did we win or what? I know we lost some. Did we win some of it though? Where is our naval forces? They went back, so they're good. Sunk three enemy ships, bunch of assisted kills, nice. They're just repairing now they have a lot of repairing they need to do where is this in new jersey right i was building some in new york just keep building them in new york i guess and we'll let those guys heal up they're a ways away from being built i don't need this many convoys anymore they just keep getting destroyed i'd much rather these be built up. Let me look at construction real quick. So I'm still building up and repairing a lot of dockyards, civilian factories, military factories need to be built up again. Insufficient resources, resistance, it's fine. All right. Some of these guys are waiting for equipment to be produced and delivered. Handling machines, 13 toed infantry, plan preparation attack bonus going down because supply status is 84%. So. If I send. See, now some of them are moving up a little bit. The, uh, okay, now they are starting to move. Uh, I don't know. We'll just see if it, Bulgaria has capitulated. We'll just see if that fixes itself a little bit. The war here is going all right so far. Seems like everybody's moving up. We got a little bit of a weird pocket here, but these guys seem to be handling it. Can you guys please uh, destroy this unit? So that it frees up all these units. I mean, it, like half the purple army is just hanging out there. Well, as the rest of the army tries to, I mean, are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. Go ahead and send the Tempest in as well, please. Okay, he instantly destroyed it. Good, there. So they, yeah, there you go. They should all head back to the front line. Uh, I do need to set the garrison for these guys. Make sure that they're being spread out properly. 
Uh, these, they gotta be garrisoned in all of these areas here. I'll just set them to that too, I guess. Um, that'll cause them to spread out, but they will attack some of the areas, see, that they're supposed to garrison that are enemies, so I'm okay with this. Because that'll get them moving about anyways. They're going to be a pretty large force uh, at the end of it all. Um, especially if I keep pushing these guys out and putting them in the garrison, which I've been doing. There, so finally these guys are doing the invasion. They're still having a huge supply issue, but maybe if they finally finish the invasion, they'll, I don't know, get it under control. No idea why that's happening. I'll send these guys up to invade Canada. Once they get Canada invaded, maybe that, I don't know if that's a glitch or if I'm doing something wrong. I literally have no idea. Um, a lot of these got to be repaired. They're not even really worth anything to me if they're not. Getting more of them built, though. Don't think. How we doing? Let's see. This is pretty fine here. Let's go ahead and switch these guys though. Oh, they're not in range, but we can fix that. Expanded rocket sites, that's pretty important. You guys move up to here then? Yeah, oh, we gotta get better air. Um, these guys are fine where they're at for now. Um, I'm guessing I'm fine with that. Lose a little bit of air in the Midwest, but it ain't gonna matter because we're gonna have the Midwest under complete control here shortly. Did we get more rocket sites? We should have gotten more. <clears throat> Ah, yes. Well, we got one here at least. What else? Add four, add four building slots, add four rocket sites. Okay. In Suc Sussex. Yeah, okay, that's what I needed. The bomber fighter, tripod technology, a battle cruiser, a battleship focus. We'll go for battleship, I think. Establish Invasion Command. We still haven't gotten Triumph in America. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, Soviet Union might join with America. Gets event Gulf of Space. Um, I think these ones spawn Martian Invasion Forces in some of these areas. I don't want to do that until I've got Triumph in America. Um, and I want to get Red Weed. That's really good. Do, let's go for the Bomber Focus. That's going to be the long-term effect that's going to help us. You guys go ahead and invade this, please. Go ahead and take... Why? Guess I can't do that just yet. That's fine. Just uh, take whatever you guys can, I guess. Canada should capitulate pretty quickly anyways. All right, I want to go for... Let's see. I want to go for a naval doctrine. Base strike, trade interdiction, fleet in being. Makes our fleet stronger. Probably going to need that. Against a stronger naval opponent, we can focus on tying up their fleet and destroying supply and to starve their war machine. The strong focus on carriers and their support, no enemies. See, strong fleets for battleship means that we are forced to be reckoned with when deployed at sea. We're going to go for that for sure. Because battling the enemy's navy is going to be the hardest challenge for us. Okay, I think I needed air. 
which is the heat ray turret. We don't have any of that. We're still going to be missing some reinfor uh, some stuff to do that. Lack of resources is killing us. Um, just chromium, though. Where is there a lot of chromium? I thought Turkey had a lot. Yeah, they do. I don't have the ability to take out Turkey, unfortunately. I do have enough command power to drop another pod, though. Looking to see if there's chromium any place else that was kind of in an area. Holy crap. Yeah, Cuba has a ton of chromium. And we could probably take Cuba, I think. Let's try it. Um, we just need to control by enemy of the marsh. Is control by the enemy. We just need to fabricate, uh, justify a war goal with them. So let's do that quick and then we'll... We'll drop that there and see if that works for us. Come on, push on Canada, please. Thank you. What is going on with this army? A lot of people still moving in. Sixty-two out of sixty-six. We'll get some more handling machines. A little bit more super heavy tanks. There, we got improved artillery coming in. Uh, that's about all I can get right now. Resources is killing me. And we'll dump some in there. That's all right for now. We're going to have some chromium here shortly because we just got that dealt with. Come on, guys. Push on this. How hard can it be to make this push? Okay, go ahead and finish up the last of these American forces. Wells, this invasion force here finally starts to get a front built. It's a good sized front too. Slowly but surely making our way across. All right, let's go ahead, declare war on Cuba. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Drop it right on Havana. All right, Cuba capitulated, I guess. It's the end of that. Good job, everybody. That should do it. Yes, plenty of chromium now. Ooh, we just need some rubber, but that's fine. I'm not worried about the rubber. Now we're going to roll over everybody. This is going to get very, very ugly for our friends very, very quickly. Um, they're in a lot of trouble. We're going to see production here start going through the roof. Let me go ahead and turn on uh, the, turn up the artillery. Yeah, we just need rubber. We can get that. Let's see, Tempest. We need more of all of these. Um, I definitely want more of those, those, more super heavy, more support equipment. Okay, that cuts off some because we're low on rubber. Let me, let me make sure we're actually taking care of some of our artillery here. Okay. 
So let's just let that run for a bit. Then when we get more rubber, we'll fix that. I think these guys, America should have some rubber here. They got a little bit of everything. It's all around here. By the way, I'm glad we took Cuba. It was a great idea. If they don't, somebody here has got rubber. I'm not missing a lot. I can always look for another country worth invading. We've got more chromium down here. But we've got all the chromium we need right now. Mexico doesn't have a whole lot. Some oil. All right, let's do this. Better yet, trade. Rubber, the Germans, Dutch, British, Malaysia, United Kingdom. France, I guess. Belgium, Brazil has rubber. Yeah, they do. Okay. All right. So we got some time. Invasion's going very well. Uh, these guys are now supplied, so that's dealt with. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and set up a new offensive line. Make me proud, boys. As soon as they're all online, we'll get ready to launch it. These guys are doing very well. Um, as long as they can finish this, this up here, which I need them to do. They're going to get it, though. And the garrison's still doing a wonderful job. Very fast-growing garrison doing a wonderful job of securing all these areas that need to be secured. Uh, the garrison is going to get a little stretched out. We'll have to make another garrison at some point. Rubber's almost dealt with. We could do this. That will give us factory repair speed, which we need. You can see if you go into construction, we're like, we have a lot of stuff to repair. It's going to take us a long time, including, look at all these factories that queued up to be built. But we're just focusing on repairing right now. It's a lot of repairing. How is our Navy? They're getting there. Taking a little bit of time, but I'm working on it. The Navy is going to be the hardest part for us because the Martians don't start off with like any Navy. So it's it's really the most difficult portion is the Martians. You know, getting a Navy that's going to work. There's our bomber focus. We're going to go ahead and go for, let's see, future of Mars. Remove national spirit masters of race. Gain national spirit masters of the universe, which grants rocket site construction speed. Uh, 75% research time minus 25% hypersonic air experience hypersonic engines hyperfighter one let's go for the tripod technology I have to figure out where I want to drop that next pod of units to. 
probably start taking over some of the islands and such. I can't believe Cuba capitulated just by dropping these guys on the capital. That was amazing. Oh boy, the U.S. is slowly losing ground. Come on, take this, please. Thank you. So these guys can finally move back to the front line. There, that's what I needed. These guys are almost moved up. Okay. Ah, British capitulated. Not sure where. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, nice try. Nobody's gonna get a land invasion there anytime soon. Yes. Yes, okay, lots of people moving back up. We were looking kind of sketchy there. We've almost made it to the front line. We're so close. Um, let me have you guys do this so I can free up all these units that are just sitting here on a front line that's literally empty. And we're almost ready for this invasion, which is going to be a big one because we're pushing across this whole uh, Canada area. We're going to be joining the front line um, for the purple one here. The American front line is going to be the hardest invasion. The Canadian one should start to fall pretty quickly now as soon as these guys are ready to go. I need you guys to move up, believe it or not. Uh, that's the closest I can get them, though. So I guess um, you'll be of more use down here. Yeah, that's going to be a lot more useful. So these guys won't have any air support. I'm hoping it doesn't affect much. Wait in this last unit. There he goes. Go for it, guys. <clears throat> that is going to be a massive invasion. Um, we're still hurting on rubber. But we can bump that up a little bit. All right, so now those forces are going to start pushing through Canada. America is very close to being almost taken completely over. We've just got a few small pockets here. Not a whole lot to worry about. As these guys push across the Canadian border and free up this front line here, we'll see purple units start going down and joining the main front line down here, which is definitely what we need. There's our rocket there. And hopefully we'll continue the push ahead. Really important. See that actually turn into something. And I think by next episode we're going to see... I think we're going to see a capitulated United States and Canada. I guess we'll have to see uh, where it takes us.
I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.